reviewing an MRE, which you can see this is menu number 21, tuna, chunk, light, water packed, lemon pepper. This is a 2015 Warnick packaged MRE. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what the actual contents are. Thought we would spice things up a little bit today and we're actually gonna open that with a very cheapo Calvary Saber that I've had since I was probably 10 or 12 years old. There it is. You can see it's quite long, and that is some old school frost cutlery stainless. And this does not have the best edge on it, but it is mildly sharp. So let's see if it can manage to cut into a MRE bag. Well, cut through without too much problems. Let's go ahead and cut it long ways too, just for fun. All right, so we have our mangled menu number 21 bag here. We have pepperoni pizza cheese crackers. Those are 240 calories, 30 grams of carbs. And I believe these are essentially combos. We have a vanilla dairy shake powder, 300 calories. That's a big calorie count for a drink. 44 grams of carbs, 20 grams of sugar, a fat-free mayonnaise. This whole pack is only 20 calories, so that's really not bad at all considering what mayonnaise nutrition usually is. We have a apple cinnamon first strike nutritious energy bar 270 calories on that 47 grams of carbs and this is the large size first strike bar feels pretty dang hard though I have an accessory pack tortillas plain 220 calories as usual emery spoon a cheese spread and this cheese spread seems very firm which is odd for a 2015 MRE. however it is like 58 degrees in my house and we have our main here quite obviously they're a star kiss product tuna creations lemon pepper 4.5 ounces and it's in the outdoors pouch which i guess means it's camouflage it has military date stamps on it here so we're looking at the 279th day of 2015 and this product may contain bones let's check out our accessory pack right fast we have a lighthouse tp a moist towelette beverage base raspberry iodized salt and peppermint gum oddly enough this meal is missing a coffee but that's actually okay because i'm eating this for lunch so i don't really need a coffee so i'll just be enjoying my vanilla dairy shake before we get this onto the tray i just wanted to mention this is a collaboration video with multi magnum 62 his channel will be linked down below you can check out the review on the exact same menu and get his opinion tell him that readiness review sent you over there all right we'll get all this plated up and then we'll start trying some stuff out as you've probably already noticed there is no included frh in this meal this is designed to be consumed room temperature it's also a little bit of an odd menu and that there's no real dessert in it as well. I suppose they're counting the first strike bar as a dessert, but for me that's more of a snack. A vanilla dairy shake is dessert-like, but a beverage really isn't a dessert either. We'll get started with our drinks as usual. The beverage based powder raspberry is designed for a 20 ounce bottle of water. We'll give that a good shake. Flavor-wise, these little packs of beverage-based powder are not as good as the big one usually, but they are sugar-free and they're much lower calorie, so is a more healthy option. They're pretty decent. Plus, they make a larger amount of fluid. Usually, you would get a full-size pack with powder in it. it would only be 12 ounces, whereas this little bitty pack is 20 ounces. That's looking pretty good. It incorporated very easily. I got about that much left in the bottle and that turned out pretty dark it has a floral aroma it feels like there's a lot of powder in this vanilla dairy shake this calls for six ounces of water or fill it to the fill line shake or mix for 60 seconds the powder goes all the way to the fill line almost i think this would actually make more than six ounces this would probably make eight ounces but we're gonna go with the directions and fill it to the fill line this is a ziploc topped pouch there's the powder on the inside smells nice of vanilla and we'll try to fill that up to our fill line that's about right. I figure this is gonna come out very thick. Squeeze out some of the air and give that a fold over so it doesn't make a big mess and shake for a minute. Now that the water's hit it, it's actually smelling pretty strong. Does look nice and thick, sort of an off-white color, very creamy. Even though I shook the crap out of it, it still seems to have some lumps in there, but that'll be all right. Let's take a look at this first strike bar, apple cinnamon. It is very hard, although I do think that has something to do with the cool temperatures in my house. There's a look at the inside. Kind of smells like pumpkin spice almost. Like it has something odd in it, some nutmeg or mace powder or something like that going on in that. Looking forward to trying that out though. Take a look at our pepperoni pizza cheese crackers. The first strike bar also put like a residue of oil on my hands. I can feel it. Look at those. They are indeed combos. There's your do not eat. We are not gonna eat that. They smell like pepperoni pizza. They're not all broken up. It looks pretty nice. Get those on the tray. 
These tortillas are usually better warmed up, but since there's no FRH in this meal, we're just gonna go with them cold. Looks like we got two. They're not very stuck together. This one's trying to split a little bit, but other than that, they look like they're in good shape and they smell perfect and they actually feel pretty soft. And of course we have the main event, Tuna Creations Lemon Pepper. You can buy these in the grocery store packed just like this in a retort pouch and it'll last just as long as an MRE will. And you look at it in the pouch there. We can see the little pepper flakes. Smells as you would think, like tuna. We'll put that on the tray here. It's packed in there pretty good. It's a little bit stuck to the walls of the pouch. And there it is. It's not the largest portion size, but for pure protein, they actually give you a fair amount. I actually want to go ahead and try this first. So we'll just get a bite of it by itself there. A nice up close look at it. You see it's sort of a flaky tuna consistency there. It has a light aroma of the lemon pepper. It's definitely not overpowering. Go ahead and try that. The predominant flavor is actually the lemon pepper. You can taste it over everything else. It has a fair amount of saltiness to it. And it's kind of drying out the inside of my mouth a little bit. I think that if you are a mayonnaise fan, you definitely want to load this up with that mayonnaise just to moisten it up a little bit. But like this, it's very easy to eat, quick, fast nutrition with no preparation. Mixing dairy and fish is a little weird, but we'll go with it. We'll go ahead and try out our vanilla dairy shake here. Oh yeah, that's nice. Not chalky at all. Not overpowering vanilla flavor. It's thick and creamy. And even though it's not a hot drink, it's still quite comforting. I actually like that a lot. Try one of our combos. Pepperoni pizza filled. Nice and crunchy. And straight up tastes just like what you dehydrated some marinara sauce is what the internal feeling of this tastes like. I mean, it tastes like pizza. It tastes like a breadstick dumped in marinara sauce. Very fresh. Yeah, that's good. We'll make us a little tuna taco here. I will take a little bit of this mayonnaise just to try it out. I'll try just a little bit by itself, which is very disgusting to me. I would never eat mayonnaise by itself, but in MRE form, I got to do it for the review. You can see it's white, a little bit shiny. Doesn't really smell like anything. We'll taste that. Um, yeah, no, Ugh, not a fan at all, but it'll be okay mixed in with this other stuff. I'll eat mayonnaise if it's on something. Like if someone gives me a hamburger and has mayonnaise on, I'm not gonna be like, ooh, I'm not gonna eat that. But I would never go to mayonnaise and seek it out myself. I'm not into it at all. And this does taste a little bit chemically. It's not like a nice fresh mayonnaise. You can tell it's like some weird shelf stable mayonnaise. But we'll put down a little bead on this. We'll load that up with some of our tuna. We'll check out this cheese as well. Try to squeeze that out. It looks really nice. We'll just try a little bit on our finger here. Make sure everything's okay with it before we put it on the rest of the meal. Oh yeah, it tastes excellent. Just not the least bit runny at all. Very thick. Run a line of that on this. And I figured just those two additions will really help this tuna quite a bit. Pull that over and we'll try that out. Just that little bit of added moisture made it where it didn't dry out the inside of my mouth as bad as it was doing before. The flavors mixed together pretty well. I think I'll crunch up a couple of my little combos in this to give it some crunch. Lemon pepper and pizza are sort of a weird combination, but it's worth a try. So now we got some nice crunchy combo on there. Let's give that a taste. It's kind of a weird amalgamation of flavors, but it's good and the added texture helps out. Yeah, that's sort of a weird mix. I like it though. Put a little bit more cheese on this bite. Well, I finished that one off quite happily. Let's wash that down with some of our raspberry drink. It doesn't seem to be mixed too strong. 16.9 ounces seems about right for that pack, really. I like that drink. It's not overpowering. It's not harsh chemical flavors, really, compared to some of the other ones. And it doesn't taste overly sweet like some of them do as well. It's just, you know, a little added something to your water to make it just a little bit better. I'm really curious to see if the side items were the same in John's Mill as they are in mine. These pizza presses are actually pretty decent. As far as the quick to prepare MREs goes, you have this one and the chicken chicken chunk. I prefer the chicken chunk just because it has buffalo sauce in it and this doesn't have any hot sauce component, but this is still a fine menu. And if you exclude the drink, it's sort of healthy too compared to a lot of MRE options. Let's try out our first strike bar. It's pretty chewy. I couldn't really bite into it. I kind of had to tear it with my mouth. It's got that little puffed rice in it that gives it a little bit of crunch. It doesn't have any negative flavors that you would get with like a protein bar or something. Not powdery or anything like that. It's definitely a jaw workout. You gotta work to chew this. It's not unlike apple cinnamon oatmeal in flavor. It's not bad at all. That'll be pretty nice washed down by what we have left for our vanilla dairy shake. The dairy shake might have been the best thing in this whole meal. All right, guys. Well, that was menu number 21, tuna chunk light water packed lemon pepper. Thanks so much for watching, guys. This has been Ration Rewind, the series in which I'm reposting my old ration reviews from my first YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up to help it out with that Google algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to catch all of my future ration content. This is the one-stop shop for MRE related content, old and new, foreign and domestic, military and commercial. We do it all here on Readiness Rations. Be sure to drop me a comment and check out my social links down in the description of this video. And I will be back with a new video for you guys next week. Until then, I will catch you in the next video. See you then. Peace.